we see, we look at the concept of responsible AI through three dimensions. The legal dimension, the trust dimension and the profitability dimension. And the profitability dimension covers actually the added value that your AI should bring. We do AI for a reason and it needs to be of added value. Uh, that added value can be, can be financial, can be quality, can be for the bigger society. But always that added value should be there and that added value should be bigger than the cost. And the cost is of course the financial cost, but it's also the risk that needs to be taken into account. Amongst others, the risk of non-compliance. Non-compliance with, amongst others, the AI Act. At PwC Belgium, we uh, practice what we preach, of course. We have a center of excellence in place uh, that uh, sets the strategy, that uh, defines the use cases, that defines the tools that we will implement. We have all the necessary uh, expertise uh, in that center of excellence to evaluate that strategy, to evaluate the projects that are ongoing. That's, that's very important, that you take that into account as from the start, as from the moment that you uh, define your value case for your AI project, that you think about compliance, that you take that into account of your value case, because the benefits can be as big as they are, but if you are uh, risking to be non-compliant in the end, then all those benefits can be, uh, let's say, dissolved uh, because of that reason. Well, compliance is important as from the start, uh, as from your business case, but not only. It's a continuous process. It's something that you need to do uh, throughout the whole life cycle of your project in the build, in the run, in the implementation phase, uh, you need to have checkpoints in place to check continuously whether you're still compliant with EU AI Act and other legislations. It's not only about the project, but it's also one, once the project went live, also after that, it still keeps on continuously uh, investment to make sure that people use properly the tools that you have implemented. In the end, compliance is also reached through proper usage of the tools. Uh, so you need to train your people on how to use it uh, to be effective, but also to make sure that there's compliance use of the tools uh, in line with the responsible AI uh, uh, policies that you have in place. And to give an example, at PwC, uh, we have rolled out Chat PwC, uh, our own private version of ChatGPT, and together with the rollout, we have also provided mandatory training to people, uh, not only to use the tool effectively by, by, by being able to prompt, but also to use the tool responsibly. Because in the end, it's all about safety, compliance, and responsible use of AI.